In the Philippines, officials continue the country's first-ever impeachment trial of the chief judge of the Supreme Court. Renato Corona faces a number of charges, including failure to disclose assets, blocking the investigation against former President Gloria Arroyo for electoral fraud, and misuse of a multi-million dollar World Bank loan. The trial has riveted the country with demonstrations both in support of and against impeachment. Some activists have used a technique that may be familiar in the U.S. They've set up a tent near the Senate, and they're pressing for an end to corruption and for integrity of the judicial process. FSRN's Madonna Varola reports. In Pasay City, a parade of vehicles carrying impeachment signs drives around the Senate building. Nearby is a makeshift prayer tent where activists for truth and justice are fasting day and night. Anabelia Dionela is president of ACAPCA, a 27-year-old movement for active nonviolence in the country. For me, impeachment um, is a venue where a person could be given a fair trial because he, both parties are being heard. And so it connects with our belief in nonviolence that its person should be given a fair trial and that even he is already uh, judged by the people. Uh, but still, we value the dignity of every human person. In December, 188 of the 284 members of the House of Representatives voted to impeach Supreme Court Chief Justice Renato Corona. He was charged with eight articles of impeachment, including being partial and subservient to the former Gloria Macapagal Arroyo administration, failing to disclose assets and committing graft and corruption. He's also accused of blocking the administration's campaign promise to make former President Arroyo accountable for alleged corruption. Arroyo appointed Corona to the Supreme Court shortly before she finished her term in office, and some lawmakers questioned the legality of the appointment. This is the first time that the justice is being impeached in the country. Congress member Elpidio Barzaga is among the prosecutors. It is our position that the Chief Justice no longer possess that integrity that perception to the public that he can administer this justice. And our position is backed up by so many factors. Based on the surveys conducted in the Philippines, among the top five officials, the lowest public approval rating happens to be the chief justice. But Corona has denied the allegations and has refused to resign from his post. He told his supporters that there is a conspiracy to remove him, so President Benigno Aquino can install a justice more favorable to the current administration. He denied accusations of irregularities in the use of a 21 million U.S. dollars loaned by the World Bank to the Supreme Court, which was intended for judicial reforms. Karen Jimeno is a spokesperson for Corona. Not even all the congressmen who filed the verified complaint for impeachment even read the complaint. There are jurisprudence saying that if you have an unverified complaint, the effect of that is that it's an unsigned pleading and all proceedings that uh, subsequent to the filing of that complaint are null and void. Nevertheless, we proceeded with the trial. And then now with the trial, uh, they violated the rules of pleading and the basic rights of due process of the accused to be informed of the charges against him. They allege in Article 2 that his only offense there was his failure to publicly disclose his statement of assets and liabilities. But after proving that, now they're alleging that he has accumulated ill-gotten wealth when they did not clearly state that in their verified complaint. The media has covered the case closely, including raising questions about Corona's expensive properties, which some say he could not afford in a chief justice's salary. Political satirist May Paner has been monitoring the trial. So while there's a small room in here that is working on the process, there's a bigger audience out there. And thanks to the work of media, um, opinions are being formed when the voice of the people uh, is not represented and the people whom they feel uh, are the ones who are causing uh, uh, the present corrupt system to, to continue and to pervade, then of course people will have to do something. People will go out again. People will protest. Back at the prayer tent, community volunteer Ophelia Nilo Kasser says, she hopes the trial will get to the truth and justice will prevail. I wish Justice Corona would be honest to admit if he had wronged people. 
Let us remember that he is still a person who experiences hurts, including his family. He still has the right to be respected. The impeachment trial is expected to last from three to six months. If he's convicted, Corona could be removed from office. Madonna Virola, FSRN, Manila.